Hey everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory News. This week we got an explainer video of the two new power items coming to Satisfactory Update 8, so I'll walk you through what they both do and what their uses are. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like or a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. The first new item is the Power Tower, which looks a lot like a real-life power line tower. It's pretty tall and comes in two different versions, one with a ladder and a platform and one without. It has three power outputs for another power tower and four outputs for regular power poles. When you use these power nubs, they will automatically drag out a power tower or a power pole. The power tower lines can actually reach three times as long as a normal power pole, which makes them great for long distance power as well as just for looks. They look a lot more realistic than being constrained by the distance of power poles. They also work really well with the zipline sprint mode, finally giving us a good use for it. Previously, it was hard to take advantage of zipline sprint since cables were so short, but now power lines and ziplining are a legitimate way to cross the map if you've set up your power towers. So I think these new power towers are fantastic and a lot of players, myself included, will love using them to bring power over long distances and look good while doing it. The priority power switch is the next item. It's an advanced power switch, which lets you give each of your switches a priority. All of your power switches will show up in the priority power switches menu, and you'll be able to drag them into eight different priority boxes. You can toggle your switches on and off from here, so you don't need to go all across the world to shut down your factories. This isn't the intended use case for these, but I think it will end up being the most common one, especially for late game players who have large worlds and power grids that are set in stone. You can use it to decommission an old factory without actually going out to it. So what the priority does is that when your factory loses power, instead of shutting down and forcing a power trip, it will dynamically turn off your power switches in priority order to save power and stabilize the system. So priority 8 will shut off first, then 7, all the way down the chain. This means that your mission critical factories can be put on priority 1, and this will likely be your power producers, so that your power can come back as fast as possible. But to do this, you'll need to isolate your factories and power grids and generally clean it up, which is pretty good advice in general. I like this new item a lot because I think it's pretty cool, but I'm curious to see how useful it will actually be. Much like the power storage and the normal power switch, it's really only useful if you aren't managing your power well. If you do the math and keep track of your power grid, you shouldn't need this item. But it's hard to deny how fun it looks and how cool it's going to be. And I think it's going to really help keep you organized if you want to be. I'm curious how useful you think this is, so let me know in the comments below if you plan on using this item. Oh, and one last note from the trailer if you missed it. Those are Novelisk explosives on the fart rocks, indicating that maybe we'll finally be able to blow them up in Update 8. Now that's good news. Alright everyone, that's the video. Let me know what you think of these two new additions to Update 8. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.